Good morning, welcome to or welcome back to the channel. It's Lily. Today, I'm really excited about the video. We're doing a big reset routine. I woke up at seven, it's about nine right now, but I woke up really early to try and fail at some early morning yoga. I tried to do this little handstand here and it just, yeah. Then I made myself a nice breakfast and had a nice protein smoothie. We're off to a good start. But today, we're gonna to be focusing on getting our shit together. If you watched my previous video, you'd know we're coming to some big changes in my life. I'm in between jobs. I'm looking for something new. I'm in a new stage. I don't really know what's going on. I don't have a routine anymore. We've got to get our ducks in a row. I want to update my CV. I want to set some goals. I want to do a vision board. I want to create a timetable for myself. I also want to do a massive declutter and reorganize of my space, especially my workspace, because I want to go into this new chapter feeling organized and put together and like I've got my shit together. So yeah, that is today's video. I've kind of been procrastinating doing this video because I know it's time to get back into a routine, back into structure and order. So yeah, I'm pretty much ready. Let's go down to a cafe and get some emails done. And I also want to start setting some daily, weekly and monthly goals. I'm just on my way to the cafe, but I was thinking about how I'm gonna structure my timetable because I have sort of complete free reign with how I structure my days. It got me thinking about how when we're kids, we're taught how to manage our time via like the strict school timetable, like maths, English, geography, history. You've got like our slots of what you can fit in. And I was thinking of maybe using that structure because that's how I learned as a kid. Instead of like maths, it's work. And then you've got friends, hobbies, fitness. Anyway, it'd be good to give it a go and see if it works. I've written down all my goals and I've got a bit of a timetable going, but it looks like I need to clean and reorganize my space before I can start being productive. Time to swap out this chair. This one's quite small compared to what we've got going on here. This is gonna be a big chair. Look at the difference. Honestly, this chair is so much comfier than my old chair. Look how far it goes back. Like, I could fall asleep in this. On that note, thank you to Sihu for gifting me this chair. It's gonna come in so handy when I'm stuck at my desk for hours upon hours again, once I'm doing a bit of freelancing. This chair is surprisingly adjustable. I found out I could adjust the armrests like two days after I filmed that first bit. But yeah, super comfortable, five stars. While I'm in the cleaning mood, in the cleaning zone, I thought that I'd apply that to the rest of my flat because it kind of needs it. I'm gonna clean my bedroom. I'll do a bit of cleaning and organizing in the kitchen and the living room so that I can just have a fresh start to everything. And then once that's done, I'll come back in here and start some of the goals that I outlined this morning while I was in the cafe. Um, I'll start the vision board and I'll start some of the stuff for my CV and freelancing. Let's clean while I'm in the mood because it's rare.
All right, that is the cleaning all done. And now it's time to sit at my desk and vision board the next six months. You've probably heard me talk about manifestation before, manifesting your goals, manifesting your reality. It can all sound a bit conceptual and vague. I thought it was bullshit at first too, but it's really just a fancy word for planning your goals and visualizing the big picture of your goals as they are when they are achieved. So what does that look like? What does it feel like? for your goals to be reality. And what baby steps do you have to take in order to get there? There was this great metaphor that I heard. It was something like, if you're in a boat and you're just rowing, but you don't know the destination, you don't know what island you wanna to go to and you don't know what direction you're going in, you could just be rowing in circles for all you know. But if you have the map, you know the destination, you know what the island looks like, then you're gonna be rowing with purpose. You're gonna get there in the end. I just wanna understand the big picture of my goal. Like what is my dream work-life balance? What is my dream life? What does that look like? Where do I wanna be in six months time? Let's get into it. After looking back at all the inspo pics I added to my vision board, there were four key themes that kept coming up in the pictures. One, being health. Two, working remotely. Three, relationships and friends, specifically traveling with friends, and then four, having varied hobbies. So I opened up Fake Jam and started mapping these themes out like the obsessive planner that I am and breaking them down into specifics. So we're mapping out the dream life vision and what's involved in the big picture. Then I went a step down and tried to come up with smaller steps I could take to achieve these in the long term. I know it seems tedious, but having a big picture goal without the baby steps is just a dream. Once you map out the path and what you can realistically do today to add a piece to the puzzle, then it's not a dream anymore, it's a plan. So keep breaking down the vision into smaller and smaller steps until you have daily habits to build. For example, my vision of working remotely, eventually I boiled that down to searching job boards for contract positions every day and researching remote first companies. You see where I'm going with this. So now that we've got our vision and we've broken it down into steps, I am gonna put into ChatGPT, can you please give me a weekly timetable for a productive and balanced routine for an unemployed person? I fucking love ChatGPT, it's so good. It's just given me a full timetable from Monday to Friday. So from seven, you wake up and do a morning routine, you know, hygiene, shower, toothbrush, breakfast. From eight, you do some sort of exercise or physical activity, you know, get your heart racing. And then from nine, you do a skill building or a learning session, like an online course or further reading to progress your knowledge. That's such a good point. From 10.30, you have a break and relaxation. From 11, you have your job search and applying to jobs online. Also updating resume, browsing job boards, etc. Then from 12.30, a lunch break. From 1.30, a personal project or a creative project. Then from three, networking or preparing and practicing for interviews. From 4.30, you do some household chores and errands. From six, relaxation time, you have dinner, a little personal development activity like journaling, and then you wind down for bed and do your nighttime routine. Obviously, you guys know that I've got the commitment of doing YouTube videos as well. So I've rephrased the question for a freelance UX designer and part-time YouTuber. So it's given me the same block of the morning routine there. And then in the morning from nine till 12.30, it's given me freelance work and outreach to find new clients. The block from 1.30 till four for filming, scripting, editing, all the stuff for YouTube. I actually haven't been able to find a good balance. ChatGPT has just done it for me. Let's add some of this to the timetable. Okay, now it's time to update our CV. This is my CV. I make mine on Canva because they have really easy to use templates. It's super convenient, but I'm gonna show you the structure of my CV so it might help you. I start with your name and your role and then your email and your number and three bits of work experience. It's okay if you don't have that many, but that's what I've got. So the first bit of work experience, you've got the company and the role and the dates, a little paragraph about the projects you've worked on and some key points about what you did in your role. But if you don't have that much work experience, try to put in some personal projects or things that you learned from doing that over the years. And then over here, you've got skills. So any extra skills that you've learned in your own time, what you're proficient in, any kind of softwares. And then you can put your education or university on the side if you wanna share that. 
My CV was about a year old at the time, so I updated any new projects that I'd done, updated the dates so that they were all up to date and correct, and any new softwares that I'd learned in that time, I added them in. That is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me while I get my shit together and get organized. I was procrastinating doing this for so long, but now that it's done, I feel so much better. This is your sign to just do that thing that you've been procrastinating. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.